if 49 raised to power s minus 42 raised to power s is equal to 36 raised to power s what is the value of s hi everyone welcome to my class in today's class we want to find the value of s from this given exponential equation 49 raised to power s minus 42 raised to power s is equal to 36 raised to power s but before we proceed please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you solution we have the given equation 49 raised to power s minus 42 raised to power of s is equal to 36 raised to power of s then if you look at this equation very well 49 is a perfect square 36 is also a perfect square but 42 is not a perfect square what do we do next let's divide both sides by 36 raised to the power of x that is we have 49 raised to the power of x divided by 36 raised to the power of s minus 42 raised to the power of x divided by 36 raised to the power of s is equal to 36 raised to the power of s divided by 36 raised to the power of x then this one will cancel this which is 1 now we have 49 raised to the power of s divided by 36 raised to the power of x minus 42 raised to the power of x divided by 36 raised to the power of x is equal to 1. Then 49 is a perfect square which is 7 square then raised to the power of x divided by 36 is also a perfect square which is 6 square raised to the power of x minus 42 raised to the power of x divided by 36 raised to the power of s is equal to 1. Then remember if you have a raised to the power of n raised to the power of m is simply as a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n which is called what a raised to the power of n multiplied by m therefore this become 7 divided by 6 raised to the power of s then all square minus 42 now then for 6 goes in 36 that is 6 6 raised to the power of s then since forty two that is seven raised to the power of x, which is equal to one. Then we have seven divided by six all raised to the power of s all square minus seven divided by six all raised to the power of s is equal to one then this can be expressed as seven divided by six all raised to the power of s all square minus seven divided by six all raised to the power of x minus one is equal to zero now let let 7 divided by 6 raised to the power of s is equal to t therefore our equation become t square minus t minus 1 is equal to 0 
This is a quadratic equation. Let's solve using quadratic general formula. That is, A is equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC over 2A. Therefore, we have A is equal to 1, B is equal to minus 1, and C is equal to minus 1. Now let's substitute. We have t is equal to our minus minus into b is minus one minus one plus or minus square root of b is what minus one square minus four multiplied by one multiplied by minus one divided by two multiplied by one. Then we have t is equal to minus times minus 1, that is plus 1, plus or minus square root of minus 1 square, that is 1. Then we have minus 4 times 1 times minus 1, that is plus 4, divided by 2 times 1, 2. Then we have t is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4, that is 5, divided by 2. Therefore, we have t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5, divided by 2. This is a golden ratio. Or t is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Or this is less than 0. We reject it. The only true value of t is t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. But we said 7 divided by 6, all raised to power s is equal to t. And t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Therefore, we have 7 divided by 6, all raised to power of s is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now, let's take the log of both sides. We have log 7 divided by 6 all raised to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Then we have s log 7 divided by 6 is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now, let's divide both sides by log 7 divided by 6. Then this is S log 7 divided by 6 divided by log 7 divided by 6 is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, divided by log 7, divided by 6. Then this one will cancel dx. S is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5, which is divided by 2, which is a good ratio, divided by log 7 divided by 6, that is the value of x. You may also write it in this form. We have s is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, then base 7 divided by 6 
if you have enjoyed the class please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you